believe it or not, but this is Eastern Poison Ivy, Toxicodendron radicans. Basically no lobes on this individual, and its leaves are huge, and it's a freestanding shrub, about eight feet tall, but definitely still Poison Ivy. See these hanging, smooth, whitish fruits, and these reddish petioles, longer central petiolule, alternate branching, and look at these hair-like adventitious roots, aerial roots. Yep, definitely Poison Ivy. It's the same individual, just much smaller leaves, no lobing on the leaves. So it's good to know that Poison Ivy is highly variable, Eastern Poison Ivy especially, and the best way to distinguish it is the asymmetrical lobing on these leaflets is basically limited to just the size of the outer part of the leaf, the symmetrical center leaf, and those other characteristics which I just described. It also has lenticels on its bark, these little bumps. Here's another one just beside it that's highly lobed, and it also varies in its characteristics of glossy leaves or matte leaves. Typically the ones that are in the bright sun are glossy, and the ones that are in the shade are matte. Poison ivy actually isn't poison. What it is is an oil that binds to your skin cells and marks them to your own immune system as foreign. And so your own immune system attacking those cells is what causes inflammation and a contact dermatitis reaction, the rash. And so if you touch it and wash it off in cold water and soap within 30 minutes to prevent the binding of that chemical urushiol, but I'm immune to it, so it doesn't bother me.